a geometric sequence and an arithmetic sequence have the first say sorry have the same first term the common ratio of the geometric is a third the common difference of the arithmetic is 3 the sum of 22 terms of the arithmetic is 734 more than the sum to infinity guys this is easy trust me look at this calculate the value of the first term okay so we have an arithmetic we are literally just gonna go full in what they've given us okay we've got an arithmetic series and a geometric sequence they say that the um, have the first same term okay so we'll just call it X well, let's call it a and a they both have the same first term now the common ratio of the geometric is a third so that means the next term would be a third a the next term would be a third times a third, which is going to be 1 over 9 a. Because all I'm doing is to go from here to here, I multiply it a third. Then to go from here to here, I multiply it by a third. Now for the arithmetic, they say the common difference is 3. So that means that this will be a plus 3. And then I'll plus another 3, so this will be a plus 6. Okay. Now, they tell us that the sum of 22 terms of the arithmetic is 734 more than the sum to infinity of the geometric. Okay, so the sum, so check this out, the sum of 22 terms of the arithmetic is going to be the same as the sum to infinity of the geometric, and then you must just add 734. So they're saying that the arithmetic is equal to the geometric plus 734. Some learners do struggle with this. They want to put the plus 734 on this side, but the arithmetic is 734 plus the geometric. So it's more than the geometric, okay? Now we're just going to go full in as much as we can. So we know that a sum of an arithmetic formula goes like this, yep. And the sum to infinity of a geometric goes like this. So I'm just going to go fill those in now. So for an arithmetic, um, they said it was the 20 22 terms. I'm filling in this formula now, okay? Now A, we called that A because A we called as term 1. Um, the number of terms, 22. And the common difference is 3. They told us that, so we can just say 3. Okay? Now that's equal to um, this formula. So it's a over 1 minus r, which is a third, and then plus 734. Guys, come on, how easy is that? I mean, look at this. The only unknown is a. So now we're just going to go simplify. So 22 over 2 is 11, and then 2a, and then this is just going to give us uh, 63, I think. Yeah, 63. And then a over 1 minus a third. So that's a over 2 thirds, plus 734. Now I'm just going to multiply the 11 in, so we end up with 22a plus um, 63 times 11, which is 693, equals to... Now when you say 1 divided by 2 over 3, it actually just flips over and becomes 3 over 2a. Okay, now we can just solve, so I'm going to take this to the left, and then I'm going to take this to the right. So what is 22 minus 3 over 2? 41 over 2, well actually I'm just going to write that as 20.5. And then, uh, what's 734? Take away 693, 41. Divide that by 20.5. So A is 2. That was easy, hey guys. Don't panic when you see this stuff. Just write it out mathematically. Make a little bit of sense of it. And you saw that wasn't actually too bad.